So the ROADS program is, uh, stands for Reliable Opportunities to Advance Dad Support, and it's a partnership with the Child Support Services Division of the Ramsey County Attorney's Office and the Workforce Solutions Program, which uh, offers employment services, um, job coaching, and things like that to help people become employed. We kind of just focus on career planning and like next steps, goal setting, you know, whatever we can work on to help advance them and overcome certain barriers. One of the really unique aspects of the work that we're doing as, as collaborative departments is to ensure that there's really personalized um, support for the ROADS participants. From the workforce side, that can look in the form of an employment guidance counselor that's dedicated to that father and supports them all the way along the path of everything from figuring out what types of careers they might be interested in, to preparing their resume, helping with interview support, helping with networking, as well as just giving them that day-to-day -day support that they need in order to complete a thorough job search. And the child support side comes in, um, when somebody is participating in this program, uh, we will help you with your child support. Um, like, um, we won't ask you to pay so long as you are part of the program. We also know that it's not just financial, and we hear that a lot from the families that we serve, is that men want to be more than just a paycheck to their kids. What we find is that there are some fathers who aren't able to pay their child support for a variety of reasons, and those barriers, we call them, the things that keep them from being able to pay, often have to do with their ability to get a job and their ability to maintain a job once they've got one. And so really looking at what are those barriers, and they can be just a variety of things from um, needing a GED, from needing job interview skills, from needing some type of um, training in order to get a job, or just even understanding what it takes to be successful in a job. You know, I think for the fathers, a lot of times it can be a lack of confidence and not really having um, maybe realizing their potential. And so by having a dedicated employment counselor that they can help them do goal setting, help them create an employment plan, you know, it gives them a lot of hope, especially as they want to be able to better engage with their families and to be able to be better dads, being able to stabilize their income and to be able to uh, reach their potential as an individual. Um, really helps them overall in order to support their family and to have better outcomes for themselves economically. So we also are looking at barriers in terms of um, being able to spend time with the child. Um, so working on co-parenting with uh, the other parent, working on having a court-ordered parenting time schedule, um, and working on self-esteem issues. So a father who's able to contribute both financially and emotionally is gonna feel better about their relationship with their child and more likely to be engaged rather than feeling like they just kind of you know, wanna disappear because they don't feel like they're really meeting their obligations as a father. Having a father who is able to be employed and fully engaged as a parent, it strengthens family connections. It gives the child a role model for what parenting and being a provider looks like. We know there's been a lot of research out there. We know that kids who have relationships with their fathers and who have their financial needs met have a higher self-esteem, they're more confident, they do better in school, they're less likely to become um, pregnant as teenagers, they're less likely to um, engage in criminal behavior. So the benefits are well documented and so anything that we can do to continue to strengthen that relationship for fathers and their children is gonna be better for families and the community as a whole. It's definitely a, like a, a energy booster, an uplifter when you know, like anybody that's in, a, in debt, you know, thousands of dollars just to know like, I, I met with Tatiana and I created a resume and they can take X amount off. And as I continue to work with her and I'm working towards goals that I set, this isn't a program where I'm like, you have to do A, B, and C. It's a program where we work together. We have to create a relationship and you let me know what it is you wanna do. And as you're accomplishing them with a little bit of guidance, it's like, you know, that confidence of like, I did that for myself or my, my family. Yeah, this program is an extremely unique one, supporting non-custodial dads who have children as a part of, of the Temporary Aid to Needy Families program. So for community partners, this is a really unique opportunity to be able to partner with the county, both the workforce department and the child support department, to advance the economic prosperity and outcomes of these men. We want to be more than just the bill collector. We really want to make sure that we're providing services in a way that meets the needs of families.
the best candidates for this program obviously have a child support case as well as have a child that is a part of the Temporary Aid to Needy Families program in Ramsey County. And if they qualify for both of those eligibility criteria, they would be a perfect candidate to consider the ROADS program as a means to um, not only improve the, their ability to comply and achieve those child support needs that they have, but also to be able to reach their own personal aspirations around employment and economic opportunity. Again, fathers that know they have a child support obligation in Ramsey County, fathers that are ready to start over. You know, they probably found themselves down and out and they're like, I'm ready to get my GED. Like if they know they want to start, because they have to do the work. So if they know what they want to do and how they want to try to get there, you know, let us know. I'm here to guide. That's all I feel like I really do. I just help guide them and have those honest conversations. If there's somebody that's interested in the ROADS program, we would suggest that they connect with our office. One of the easiest ways to do that is that each Thursday at one o'clock, we host an informational session, which is happening virtually at this time during the COVID pandemic.